Working out and fitness should be an ever-changing experience because we're always changing, our needs are changing, our lifestyle is changing, but we should never give up on fitness. And I'm gonna share my 14-year journey, so hopefully it inspires you. I'm Julie Bauer-Roth, the food, fitness, and lifestyle blogger behind Paleo MG. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to share my favorite food, workout, and wellness tips to help you live your best damn life. Today, I'm coming to you from our home gym, which I need to do a video of how we put our home gym together, how we did some cool looking lights in here, we put a mirror in, we got the floor in. I gotta talk about all of that, so I'll have a video to share with that soon enough. But first, I wanted to talk about my fitness journey and of course i had to sit in my gym and our little home gym here and this fitness journey has been a long one at least for me some people have worked out far longer than me at my age but i started really working out 14 years ago but even before that i was a swimmer and when i say i was a swimmer i was on summer club swim team so i swam on summer club i was decent you know for a nine-year-old you know, I got some first place ribbons. It's no big deal. And then once I got to high school, I joined the high school team. Loved it. I mean, loved is like a really broad word, but it kept me in shape and it made me friends with more people, different ages, all kinds of things. But I got mono, I don't know, my sophomore year maybe. And so I had to stop swimming for a little bit. And by the time I was able to come back, cause I was out of school for like a month or something. By the time I came back, all my endurance and all my strength was gone. It is true when they say, when you don't use it, you lose it. And I lost it really quick. And I was like, okay, wait, this is really hard. Cause starting when you're older, instead of when you're a kid is much harder. And so I was like, okay, I hate fitness now. This is uncomfortable. This is miserable. I'm not going to swim anymore. And then all I'm going to do is go to the mall to get Cinnabons and I'm going to drink Mountain Dew every day and probably get some Burger King croissant, which is, is that, was that Burger King? Um, Taco Bell, that's pretty much what I did. And I put on weight <laughs> really quickly, obviously. But can we just like give a shout out to Cinnabons? Cause oh my God, those are good. But anywho, I packed on the pounds and so I just wanted to lose weight. So what did I do? I started working out at the rec center and then I had a boyfriend who worked out as well. So he was like, join the gym with me. And I joined at this bodybuilder gym. I was not a bodybuilder, but I joined this bodybuilder gym and I loved it because it was really quiet in there and everybody was freaking jacked. It was very inspiring, but I felt really intimidated there. But whatever, I lifted, I saw some changes, but the biggest thing that was holding me back was I hated myself. And I've talked about this on different YouTube videos, but I hated myself so much. All I saw was imperfections. All I saw was cellulite. All I saw was love handles. All I saw was just not being thin enough. And that's when I was really just starving myself at this point. I would starve myself and then binge and then starve myself and then binge. And so it was just this really unhealthy behavior over and over. And so once I got to college, I really wanted to continue with some sort of fitness. And you know, you have access to the rec center for free there. So I would go early in the morning as soon as it opened because hardly any people were in there and I was so self-conscious so intimidated that I couldn't be around any other people because if I tried to work out during a busy hour then I would walk in feel like everyone was judging me nobody was looking at me okay nobody gave a shit and then I would get out of there as quick as possible without even doing a workout but I found myself constantly just doing things that I was comfortable with, meaning I would just walk on the Stairmaster for an hour. I would sit on a bike and spin for an hour. I would run for an hour. I just did all these really boring things that didn't really inspire me and I just felt like I needed to look at the calorie count on the Stairmaster and make sure I was eating less than that every single day. It was so unhealthy. And when I felt too intimidated at the gym, I would just start running. I would run outside. And that's when I started training for a half marathon and it just got me trying just a different type of workout. But what really changed my mindset and changed how I looked at myself and changed everything was CrossFit. So I had a boyfriend at the time in college who told me about CrossFit. He did it every single day at the gym and he would do a 20 minute workout and leave soaking wet in sweat and had like a crazy six pack. So I was like, well, why wouldn't I do that? I wanna work out for 20 minutes and be freaking jacked. Like, yes, please. So he took me in for a workout 
He's like, we'll do this one. It has like push-ups, pull-ups, burpees, something like that. Well, I do my first 10 burpees. And if you've ever done burpees for the first time, it's quite a shock to the system because you start breathing really heavy, your whole body kind of hurts. I did 10, I was like, well, I'm never doing that shit again, ever. I'm, no, I'm good. And I couldn't do a push up. He helped me do pull ups and he was pretty much forcing my whole body up. He was like, are you even pulling? Because <laughs> I was just dead weight. I had no upper body strength at all. And so, I felt really intimidated in our school rec center, in our college rec center, so I joined a gym. And this is really how I would spend my money in college, was on gyms and on food. <laughs> that would be how it was most of my college. So I joined a gym on the other side of town where not many college students went to because they went to the free rec center. And then I started doing everything on my own. So I would do push-ups on my knees. I would do pull-ups on the assisted pull-up machine. I started with squats. I would just start teaching myself all the basics. And I would follow this routine every single day with some sort of push-up, dips, pull-ups, and burpees. And that would be my warm-up. And then I would do some sort of lift from the CrossFit.com website. And I would look at CrossFit.com and say, okay, I can't do any of that. <laughs> so how can I modify? And if there were overhead squats, I would just do air squats. And if there was a heavy deadlift, I would just do a light deadlift. And I started watching all these YouTube videos to really start understanding the form of different movements, like the snatch and the clean. And then I just started doing them on my own. And then I would finish every single day with 10 to 20 minutes of jumping rope. I really wanted to get good at double under. So I just did that, put my headphones in and I would just jump rope forever. And I loved this gym. It was so quiet. It was so much better than the rec center for me and the confidence that I had in that moment. And so as I got better and better at these things and I got stronger and my body began to change and I saw all these amazing improvements because I was simply finally lifting instead of just sitting on a Stairmaster all day long. And I got more confidence. And then I started changing my diet and I saw even more results. And it was just this compounding experience where I was seeing results and wanting to do it more and pushing myself harder in the gym. And then I finally was able to join a CrossFit gym at the end of my college. So I joined a CrossFit gym. I made sure all of my money that I saved from working went into this gym and I stopped going out to drink, I stopped eating out all the time, and I spent my money on a CrossFit gym instead. And so I joined this CrossFit gym, I did my first competition with this CrossFit gym, and freaking loved it, fell in love, and then I moved down to Denver, and I started coaching at all these different CrossFit gyms all over town, and I was competing in CrossFit. So back in 2011, I made it to CrossFit regionals, and I think I finished, uh, 11th maybe and then in 2012 a year later i had been working out so hard i mean i'm working out two to three times a day seven days a week if i'm having a rest day i'm running five miles on top of it and doing a body weight workout that was my rest day and then i competed in 2012 and took eighth but in that 2011 to 2012 i had put on 30 pounds of muscle and some fat as well and i would look in the mirror not only was i transformed with really bad cystic acne but i had put on 30 pounds so quickly that i really didn't recognize myself it just when i looked in the mirror i didn't see who i was and i was really uncomfortable so not only was i uncomfortable in my skin but since I wasn't taking enough rest days, I was getting really close to injuring myself pretty badly. I had injured my shoulder and I thought to myself, what am I doing this for? What am I doing? I'm going to hurt myself and cause myself more injury and I'm not getting anything out of it. I don't even like myself right now. So I decided to change it up and that was the hardest transition, going from crossfitting in a competition mode to crossfitting way less only five times a week instead of 21 plus workouts per week. And I started simply doing lighter workouts. So if the workout prescribed a 95 pound thruster, I started doing a 75 pound thruster. And I got so much shit for this. The coaches, my friends, they're like, why aren't you going prescribed? And it was because I had been going prescribed for years and I didn't like my body. I didn't like how I felt anymore. So what was the point of going at that weight and pushing it and feeling really inflamed? And 
I didn't want to. And so I really had to push back and say, no, I'm doing this weight, leave me alone. And I remember crying through workouts because I just felt so guilty that I wasn't doing all I could do in that workout. But I stuck with my plan. Something in my gut, something in my intuition told me to calm down, go lighter with the weights. So I started doing CrossFit lighter, and then I started taking out some days of CrossFit and adding in other cardio specific workouts. So I started going to Orange Theory. I would go to a Versa climber class. I would go to a spinning class. I would go running. And I started supplementing different CrossFit days now with cardio days because I was like, okay, I wanna not be where I'm at now. I wanna lose weight and I wanna feel better because I just ached. I didn't feel good. Something in my body just hurt. My hips hurt, my knees hurt. Just didn't feel good all around. So I started transitioning into these high intensity workouts and I felt the exact same. And I did that for probably a year and then thought to myself, okay, this isn't really working either. I need to cut back with high intensity. I don't need to do this kickboxing class. I don't need to do this Versa climber class. I need to chill out. And that's when I started writing programming for myself because I had written CrossFit style programming forever, but I wanted to create a program that worked specifically for me and what I was looking for. And that just came down to a progressive overload program. And that's when I started writing my Power Sculpts program that I came out with a couple of years ago. I'll actually link it in the description below because I have so many different fitness programs, but my Power Sculpt program is my favorite. If you need an at home program, I have my Power program. If you need a three times a week program, I have my Align program. If you need a body weight, whether you're traveling or you're only working out at home with no equipment, I have my Power Body program. So I've created a ton of different programs, but my Power Sculpt program is really my favorite program because it's all about building muscle and progressively overloading over time so you're adding weight but you're doing the same movements over and over and many people don't like this style training because it feels boring if you're doing the same workouts week to week it's like no aren't we supposed to get muscle confusion no actually we can get really great results from doing the hip thrust over and over and over doing a back squat over and over and over not only are you going to see your numbers go up in the gym but you're going to also see your body really change especially with a great diet so i started creating this power sculpt program for myself and then ended up coming out with it and releasing it for other people but that was when i was really hit in the face with understanding that you don't need to do a ton of cardio to see results I actually stopped doing cardio altogether. I said, okay, I'm just gonna try this, see what my body does. I've experimented so much already with pulling back from CrossFit and losing 30 pounds over three years. Remember, I put on 30 pounds in a year, and then it took me three years of constantly kind of changing my workouts and figuring out what worked for me to lose 30 pounds. And my goal wasn't like, hey, I wanna lose 30 pounds. It was just like, hey, I'd like to not feel like this anymore. And so how am I gonna get there? And it took me a lot of trial and error and experimentation. And so I started doing progressive overload training, no cardio at all, working out four to five days a week, just simply lifting. And that's when I started to see the results that I had always wanted. I became leaner, I became stronger. I was able to start shaping different muscles like my back or my butt or my abs, whatever I was looking for. I was able to start shaping those muscles by simply progressive overload training on a regular basis. No cardio, no obsessing over tracking all my calories or macros or whatever else. I was simply enjoying working out, enjoying what I was doing and feeling great and resting all the time. And that was a huge wake up moment. I couldn't believe that I could not do high intensity and still get amazing results. Because when I found CrossFit, I thought this is the end all be all. This is the workout that will get me the results and I will love it forever. And I loved it for a long time, just not forever. And I still love it. I still want to go back to it. But the high intensity doesn't work for me and how my body recovers on a weekly basis. And now I've shifted into a whole new experience working out while pregnant. That is completely different. And that was something that really surprised me when I got pregnant. I thought I'd be able to do almost anything throughout my pregnancy that I had been doing before. Because I've seen that with a lot of my friends who are fit and who are 
pregnant, and they're able to do exactly what they did before. And I was not that person at all. I have had to modify so greatly throughout my pregnancy, but the biggest thing is I've stayed consistent. So even though I can't back squat, I can't front squat, I can't do a heavy deadlift, I'm doing a dumbbell squat to a bench with a band. It's not crazy challenging. I'm not getting my heart rate up a ton. I'm not breathing really heavy like I would with most lifts, but I'm just getting some sort of movement in. I'm doing my normal lifting that I would before, but very modified. No more weighted pull-ups. Now we're doing some barbell rows or some TRX rows. But the biggest thing that I've concentrated on during pregnancy is keeping my pelvic floor strong, but also keeping my core safe. I wanna make sure that I'm not causing extra damage while I'm doing my workouts. And so I've seen a pelvic floor PT to make sure I'm doing those movements correctly. And I've really paid attention to that. But sciatica and insomnia and pubic bone pain have all caused me to completely change my workouts. But instead of stopping my workouts and just saying, I hate this because I hate every workout while pregnant, I have just rolled with the punches. I've just let it go and said, I'm just gonna get some sort of movement in. And most of my workouts are 30 to 40 minutes, nothing crazy. I get a little bit of sweat in. I burn those muscles just a little bit, and I'm glad I did that. And I also know my future self is going to thank me someday for sticking with this. Even though I've had to transition so much and really pull back, I'll be so happy that I stuck with some sort of movement throughout pregnancy. And then I'll be able to take on my Power Sculpt program because that's what I want to get back to. After I really heal my core and get my pelvic floor really strong, then I'm going to jump back into my Power Sculpt program and start from the beginning. Now it's been 14 years of consistent working out. And when I say 14 years, I mean in all those 14 years, there's probably been two weeks total that I haven't worked out, that I haven't gotten some sort of movement in. And I've learned so much along the way and taken all those different lessons and really implemented them into my own workout plan that works for me, not what someone else is doing on the internet, not what someone else told me to do, not what a person thinks is best for me. No, I've done it for myself and I've stayed consistent and that is how you get results. And like I said, throughout all these 14 years, I've learned a lot of lessons and I wanted to share a couple of those lessons with you. The biggest lesson I've learned along the way, which I wish I could tell my younger self this, is that you don't need a ton of cardio or a ton of high intensity workouts to get results. You can actually get amazing results by simply lifting and paying attention to your diet and getting a nutrient dense diet in on a regular basis. Sure, if you wanna lose weight, you wanna get leaner, you can do a caloric deficit, but when you're simply eating a nutrient dense diet, staying away from processed foods and packaged foods, and then lifting on a regular basis, paying attention to your body, paying attention to its cues, you can see incredible results and you don't have to do a ton of cardio on the side to get those results. If I could tell my college self who was on the Stairmaster for an hour, just leaning over it, hunched over, sweat dripping on the stairs, my God, I could have saved myself a lot of disgusting, boring time there. Number two, as important as working out is, rest is just as important we get so caught up in the no rest days working out seven days a week and you see a really fit person who says that and then you're like well, shit i have to do that too no 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 your rest is really important if we're breaking down any of that muscle tissue we're causing inflammation we have to rebuild and let that body relax and get into a relaxed state and so it can really put all effort into that next workout and do it all over again rest is crucial and i talk about this in so many different programs like my align program that's only three days a week it is all about working hard on those days and then resting the others give yourself some time you don't have to be a crazy person in the gym to get results work hard when you're there progressive overload train and then don't forget to rest and then number three weight loss or even weight gain should be gradual and it should be sustainable. The main thing that doesn't work when anybody is trying to lose weight, especially lose weight, is that often people crash diet or go into a crazy low deficit and then kind of get stuck there and find themselves plateauing or they end up binging on the weekends and it all goes out the window. 
it should be gradual and it should be sustainable. So if you're trying to lose weight, instead of dropping a ton of calories, or just dropping a little bit of calories, if you're trying to go into that caloric deficit, holding there for a little while, dropping a little bit more, and then maybe coming out of that deficit for a while so we don't get lower and lower, and then coming back into one. We've all seen ourselves or a friend or a family member who loses all this weight and then gains it all back because it wasn't sustainable, it wasn't gradual. But the more you can learn over time by slowly losing weight, the easier it is to keep that weight off in the end. And of course, not everyone's goal is to lose weight, but if you wanna gain weight, it's the same thing. If you're gonna gain weight super fast, well, it's not gonna feel great for your body in general, but it's gonna be much less sustainable to hold on to that muscle to hold on to that extra weight if we're not learning how to sustain it over time those three lessons can go so far you don't have to kill yourself in the gym you can actually enjoy what you're doing and believe me i enjoyed killing myself <laughs> many times in the gym but it's not very sustainable number two you gotta rest rest is so important and will do so much good for your body and number three if you want to lose weight if you want to gain weight don't try to do it really quick it should be gradual and it should be sustainable. All three of those things will make such a huge difference in not only how you physically feel, but your results over time. Losing weight or seeing results in the gym isn't just about that one week and seeing it. It's about continuously seeing results over and over and over and getting stronger and getting fitter and getting healthier over time. And so one day you can wake up and you're gonna be 60 or 70 or 80 and be so thankful for all that time you put into the gym, taking care of your body, taking care of your mind. I mean, I didn't even get into the mental aspect of lifting weights and progressive overload, which is so incredibly empowering. But all of these things are going to build on each other, not the crash dieting, not the crazy, crazy deficits to try to get as skinny as possible. No, these healthy behaviors that you put in place over time are going to add up and you're gonna be so thankful later on. I wanted to share my own fitness journey because I came from a place of hating working out. I hated it. I hated every second of it. I hated eating healthy. None of those things interested me in any capacity. And it took a lot of time to get there. So know that if you don't enjoy working out, that's okay. The more you stick with something, the more you really find respect for it in a new way. And I have a ton of fitness programs to choose from. If you wanna check out any of them, so many of them are at home. You can do them in the comfort of your own home with just a little bit of equipment. I have all kinds of programs to choose from and I'll link them below. And just because you're here and I love it and I'm so grateful for you, I'm gonna leave a little code right here so you can get a special discount on any of my programs that you decide to try. I hope that me sharing my own story of hating working out and finding a true passion for it and a true love for it and being open to trying new things and experimenting and letting go of my ideas around fitness in general and opening my eyes to my own ideas well, just know that you can do the same and I hope it inspires you and gets you excited to work out and it gets you excited to try something different because if you think the workout you're doing now is the end all be all, I bet your body will change someday and it will want something else. And that's okay. You can try something new and fall in love with something new over and over and over, just like we do with daily life. So I hope this video inspired you to get in the gym, to get lifting, doing progressive overload, really start to see the difference and stop hating your body if you do. If you don't, hell yes, that is awesome but no need to hate in any capacity. You are amazing and you're just gonna make your body stronger and healthier and better in any capacity when you're putting in the work in the gym and you're putting in the work in the kitchen and you're putting in the work with how you see yourself. Now go get your workout on, okay? I'm gonna go do the same. Got a little workout to try today. I'm Julie Bowroth of Paleo MG. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Maybe a lesson that you've learned along the way with lifting. If, have you changed it up and tried something completely new? Have you ever tried a Paleo MG program? Any of my fitness programs? I'd love to hear from you. Leave them below and then stay tuned. I have a couple more videos I think you're gonna like.